So this is, so these five lines, this is the heart of our PID controller. So this is going to make our robot follow the line. And there's a little bit of adjustment. It can also make our robot go in a straight line. So I'm just going to talk about the colors we did for today. So our first part. So we have, um, so the P in our PID controller, it stands for proportional. And this is our proportional um, line. So here it is. So our error, this is um, our error, and it would be basically our target value uh, minus um, what our current reading is from the color sensor. So that is error. So we put that first, as, we're, as all the rest of the lines are going to use error. And it's an integral. So why do we need error? The why error, do we calculate error? The error, it, we calculate it because if, the, let's say we're um, three degrees off the line, we need to turn back onto the line. Right. So the error is calculating it. So this is our base part. Okay. So the error is the most important one because yes. we decide how much we want to come back. Like you're talking about the proportional yes. and we, the proportion, yes. that is the most used term because yes. what we do in the, we multiply it by proportional value, which is ratio. We want to say that in case yes. of angle, it's only half by two degrees. So, so our proportional value would be generally high, right? We want to keep it high. But in case of ang uh, when we are off our uh, color sensor so by, by 20, so we don't want to turn by 20. Mm -hmm. We want to turn by, let's say, 3 degrees so or 5 degrees. So we multiply it by 0.2, 0.3. So yeah, to cancel it. Yeah. Okay, and then, so that would be our first part. Our second part is integral. So the base for integral is that if we're following a line, all the sums of the error should add up to zero. As it will perfectly follow the line then. But so integral, we will take our error and then add integral onto it. So it will keep on accum accumulating. Right. So yeah, what it means but, is sometimes your error will be positive, sometimes it will be negative. So ideally you should get zero integral. Yep. But it doesn't happen in reality, right? Yep. So that's where it uh, keeps accumulating your error. If you're going more positive or you're ne more negative, they'll keep accumulating it. And you could yeah. use that. But integral, um, we don't use it that much. We usually cancel the, out the effects by multiplying it by 0 0.0001, which is pretty small. Okay. Our third part is derivative. So it basically says, it's trying to predict what our next error is going to be. So it's going to take our current error and then subtract the last error. At the start, um, our last error is going to be zero. So our derivative is just going to be the error, but it'll change. And then we set last error as error so that when we reset this, it'll become the previous error. So generally the derivative value is not too high because yeah. we are taking the difference in the last error and the current error generally should be low. The idea of this is, I mean, generally what we want to know is that the error is actually going down. It's not keep increasing. So it should keep going down, down, down. So okay. that's what we want to do. Okay. And then our PID controller, this combines everything together. So we have, so we, so in it, so we have the, so I'm going to put a quick bracket around it. So, um, so we have the error times a variable, I mean a constant, KP. And we just defined it, so it, um, we reduce the value of the error. So we have the error times the constant kp, and then we have add the integral times another constant ki, and then we add the derivative times the last error, um, the last constant kd. Okay, so you um, so usually. <laughs> Are you understanding everything? You can run around. Mm -hmm. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, so so just uh, just to wrap it up, right? Yeah. So basically, idea here is that once you write it, the program is very standard. So and what we write it once, then only thing we would we do, we would write a function. Only thing we pass in it is kp, ki, and kd. Because when we pass these three value, we can tune our program. So how, you know, sometimes it becomes jerky. We want to reduce it. Sometimes we want to really follow the line, even if it's jerky. So these are the controllers, right? So they're, all, everything else is standard. You write in the program, you only control 
KP value, KI value, KI, yeah. KD value. And to add on to that, sometimes we'll change the target value as in different Oh, target cases, values too, yeah. Um, the lighting will be different. Oh, yeah. So sometimes we want to have a different target, yep. And that would be a PID controller. Simple enough. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Are you happy too? Um, you good. understood everything? Very good. Yes. All right, thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.